Today we're going to look at eight reasons to upgrade to Windows 11. So let's get straight into it. Number one, Windows 11's performance boosts. Windows can resume from sleep about 25% faster thanks to better optimization. So resuming a computer from sleep on a Windows 11 computer is very quick. Windows 11 updates are about 40% smaller, so download times for Windows updates will be much quicker. Another performance boost is that apps will open faster with Windows 11, even when there's already lots of other apps open. This is thanks to better memory management. And whichever app is running in the foreground will now have more CPU power and other system resources, as less priority is given to background apps. So whichever app is currently being used will be more responsive, even when lots of other windows are open and running in the background. And for those that log into Windows using Windows Hello, that is, those that use a PIN number, facial recognition, iris or finger scanner to log in, computer resume time is about 30% faster. Number two, estimated time to update. When Windows has an update or two and you want to shut down or restart your computer, Windows will now tell you how much computer downtime you will have while it installs the Windows updates. This is so much better knowing how long it will be before you can use your computer again. Number three, direct storage. This is a performance boost for gamers. Windows 11 uses direct storage, which means that games will load faster. This is due to the fact that with Windows 11, the graphics card is used to decompress the game's data instead of the CPU being used for this task, which results in games loading quicker. To take advantage of direct storage, you'll need a DirectX 12 graphics card or higher and an NVMe SSD. The game itself also has to support direct storage to take advantage of this technology. Direct storage is available on Windows 10, but it works faster with Windows 11. Number four, better security. As shown here, Windows 11 has many security features that it can use, and most of them will be turned on by default. Every Windows 11 computer will at least have a TPM 2.0 chip. TPM will be turned on by default on every Windows 11 PC, which adds a lot of security. Just look at how many of these security features in this list benefit from TPM. But when it comes to Windows 10 computers, not all of them have a TPM chip. Microsoft say that using Windows 11 can reduce malware by up to 60%. They've definitely made Windows 11 more secure, and they're also adding even more security features to this list quite soon. Number five, easy to navigate settings. So if I click on Start, Settings, the menus here are very well laid out. The main options are on the left. So for example, if I click on Personalization, all of the options for personalizing the computer now show up in the center. For example, I can change the background, colors, themes, lock screen options, and so on. If I click on Gaming, here are the Windows gaming options, and let's click on Windows Update. And here you can check for any available updates. There are other update options here too, such as pausing Windows updates, update history, and so on. So as you can see, the settings menu is very well laid out and easy to navigate. Number six, Snap Layouts. So let's open a folder to check out Snap Layouts. If I hover the mouse pointer over the Maximize button, I get some options underneath it. The options you will get will depend on your screen size and screen orientation. So I could choose to put this window to the left of the screen or to the right, or in any of the four corners of the screen. So let's put this window on the left side of the screen. I can then choose which of my other open windows I want to fill the other half of the screen with. I can then drag the dividing line between the two windows and they will both resize automatically. 
By the way, whenever the Maximize button is chosen, it will still maximize the window, just like in Windows 10. Another option is to drag the window to where you want it, and it will create the size of the window for you, depending on where you've placed it. Number 7. Amazon Apps You can now run Amazon Apps on Windows 11 computers. To run Amazon Apps on a Windows 11 computer, go to the Microsoft Store and download an app called Amazon App Store. You can then use a variety of apps on your computer from the Amazon App Store, such as games, educational apps, and various other apps too. At the time of this recording, this is only available in the USA and Japan, but hopefully it will be available in more countries in the near future. And finally, number eight, Windows 11's looks. Windows 11 looks a little more modern, with its new taskbar, new icons, news and weather in the left corner, all windows with their rounded edges, and new menus at the top of each folder. There are new looking context menus when you right click on a file or folder. And if I click on Start, Settings, Personalization, Themes, there's also new Windows themes available where you can change the desktop background, Windows colors, mouse pointer, and window sounds. All in all, Windows 11 just looks a little more modern. So that was eight reasons to upgrade to Windows 11. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.